Pyeongchang, South Korea to Philadelphia. And ABC News White House correspondent who's been released from the dungeon at the White House to go to Philadelphia. Philadelphia Philly, uh, Philadelphia Eagles fan, Karen Travers. Karen, congratulations. Where are you? Thank you very much. I'm right along the Ben Franklin Parkway, which if you're uh, familiar with the movie Rocky, when he climbed up those steps and looked out in the city of Philly, that's the view he had. And that's the parade route today from the Art Museum to City Hall. It is just packed with people already. And well, this parade doesn't even start for three hours. And people are several rows deep already. The parade's not even going to get to this point until probably early afternoon. But, you know, it's going to keep them entertained for the next few hours. They're re-showing the Super Bowl right now <laughs> on 14 Jumbotrons. And I actually talked to some people who said it actually makes them a little nervous to watch it because they're, like, worried fate is somehow going to take it away from them. Like, oh, God, are they actually going to catch that ball? Are they going to get that turnover with Tom Brady at the end? But everybody here is very excited. Uh, <laughs> can, can you put a, a, a number on how many people, Karen, are actually there? Yeah, the city officials were not going to estimate yet, but there was about a million people for the Phillies World Series parade in 2008, and they are estimating it is going to be much bigger than that. We're hearing some officials say it could be close to 2 million people. The city shut down. Schools are closed. Every college and university, uh, most businesses are closed. They're actually really restricting the train stations, the regional rail, just to try and get people moving through the system. Really, the only places open are hospitals. My sister's a nurse. She still had to be in at 7 a.m., but those are the only people, I think, that were uh, told they had to be in today. Karen Travers, last question for you. Philly fans are known for being very critical <laughs> of their team. Now that they've won the Super Bowl, are the, are the Eagles fans <laughs> going to be less critical of their Super Bowl winning team? Well, now they won one with Nick Foles as quarterback, the underdog who stepped in when Carson Wentz got hurt. So next year they're going to have to win it again with Carson Wentz to make people happy. <laughs> Karen Travers. A little bit of expectations here in the city. <laughs> uh, in, enjoy the day, Karen Travers. Thanks for checking in. Have a great